Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. Hope you're doing well today. As you can see, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about heavy crossbow. It's a bit of a weird play style. I've been trying it the last couple of days. Um, it's really, really fun, but it plays differently to almost every other weapon play style in terms of DPS that I've seen. Um, in terms of like the abilities that I was using and this sort of stuff. So, uh, we're going to be having a look at what I'm running. So, I'm running Cleric Cow purely for the only reason I'm running Cleric Cow is because I've got decent enough mastery into it. I'm actually running Force Field, not Ice Block. I think Ice Block's really bad at the moment. The The cooldown's too long. I think Soldier Helmet wins every time if you're comparing those two. Um, but Force Field, actually, I've been getting used to it. And aggressively, defensively, it's such a good defensive offense. It, it's so good. It fits so many different abilities. A lot of teams have Glaives at the moment. If you get flung back into the enemy team, you can knock everyone away. If someone get if you've got a glaive on your team and he gets knocked back, if he gets flung to you, you can actually knock him further away from his team. It just has so many practicalities, so many uses. So I'm running force field with the aggressive uh, aggression passion, uh, passive. I'm running mage rope just for that highest amount of uh, like uh, attack bonus possible. I am running frost shield just for that ability to kite a little bit. I'll explain why in a little bit of time uh, and i'm running night boots with apparently courier now I'm, I'm running toughness with the shield charge um you play so so backline so defensive oh i should probably show you what's on the weapon uh so i've got explosive bolt on my q um which is this it, it's a little skill shot uh pretty short cooldown uh actually <laughs> relatively hard to hit but if you get it down to hit it properly as you can see what i'm doing here hit one kite hit one kite and this is it. This is how you play. So you've then got Sunder Shot, which allows you to put pressure onto one target. You get that massive resistance debuff onto one target. This, if you hit someone that's 100% health, this is the highest resistance debuff in the game. It is so, so strong. Um, and it's on a 7 second cooldown. Obviously less than when you use an omelette, which I would always say use an omelette with this. Um, it is so, so strong. And then we have Sweeping Bolt. Sweeping Bolt interrupts any spellcasting channeling, which means... Um, Things like uh, Holy Explosions, you can interrupt that, all this sort of stuff. It's, it's so good, but it does a ridiculous amount of damage as well. So I'm just going to use uh, Boric here, shout out to him uh, from the guild, helping me out here. Just so I can show you sort of the damage that this is capable of doing. So, basically my plan here, the com the combination I'm using, and this is why this is a bit of a weird playstyle, is it has no real single target damage, but it also does. So, what I'm going to do... Is I'm gonna Sunder Q W. So I'm gonna Sunder Q W Auto. And that was nearly 60% of his health. And I have literally, just to show you, I have doo -doo 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 -doo, two mastery in this. So just to show you again, without the sweeping bolts, that's the Sunder into the explosive shot. And the explosive shot does an absolute ton. Um, it does a ridiculous amount of damage there. So what I'm able to do is basically just sit really backline. And I can just keep moving and just get that poke off. So, uh, what, what the other good thing is, uh, he's already there. Wow, what a good guy. Is because the Q is AoE, what you can also then do is, if they ever stack up, I believe he's actually still busy. It's not good. If they ever stack up, what you can actually do is cleave. So, he's going to show it here now. Is, I was doing this yesterday, and that whole damage there other than the sunder shot that was completely aoe so i'm going to look at the target dummy a sec and i'm going to even sunder the target dummy but none of this damage i've actually hit boric with i was hitting the target dummy i sundered the target dummy i did everything to him and i still did 40 percent of his health he does a ridiculous amount of damage so if you ever hit two or three people with this you're just going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage if you want some single target damage you can go auto fire but, I mean, truthfully, this just does so much. And then you get the sweeping bolts there. can be used as a finisher. can be used as poke. It does so much. If you hit an entire team with this, you're going to be hitting for well over 1,500 2K damage. Uh, once you get some... Uh, once you get some mastery, you're going to be doing so, so much. So, it's really, really fun to see. Fun to play as well. But, again, it's so, so defensive. You can play really in the back line. Uh, and again, we're just able to sit so far back. And again, these I'm hitting target dummies for 254s, hitting Boric there for 200 every Q. If I hit two or three people with that, I'm hitting for 600 on a spammable Q. It's just mental. Um, but this is it. This weapon is all about just doing cleave AoE poke damage. 
Um, you have the sweeping bolt there, which is a bit of burst damage. You can get that burst combination. Again, I'll show you the, the sunder into the Q, into the sweeping. And that's still about 1.5k damage. It is really, really strong. Um, but ultimately, this weapon is, is about poking and like AoE spread damage. And with 100 Frost being what it is right now and crowd control being what it is right now, I think this weapon's really, really strong in the meta. We see people like Derek using it. We do see some of the bigger names using it. But ultimately, I think this weapon's still going under the radar for what it is. It is so, so strong. You're able to put out so much damage if people ever stack up. Like, again, we see Boric. I play with Boric a lot. He's running that one-handed frost into the freezing wind. If they get a freezing wind off and I get a sweeping bolt, so that is like 3, 4k group damage done immediately there. That is so strong. Um, so, yeah. I think this has the ability, to, it's not there to solo carry, it really isn't. It does a lot of damage, and I do mean that. If you get Sunder, armor, uh, sunder Shots onto the right people at the right time, you're going to do work for your team. But the Q and the E, you can just put in so much poke, interrupt important abilities with Sweep and Bolt. And if you can get that all down to a T, I think this weapon is super, super strong. So guys... Give it a go, honestly. If you're interested, you don't want to be that single target machine. I mean, you can still swap to auto fire. And just to show you here, um, let's just draw Boric again. Just to show you here, this still has the capability to do single target damage. But I think you remove a lot of what the weapon's about by doing this. And also, you are channeling, which means you're not able to actually kite um, or, or sort of move around. So what I'm going to do here is Q, and as soon as that Sunder's just about to go... So now, so I still did actually more damage to him with that, ever so slightly, and again, like, as soon as that combination's finished, I've got another Sunder ready to go, and my Qs are in, and that's him dead. That was two rounds of abilities, and that's a clothy dead. Um, from 11 meter range, it is so strong, the problem is you are channeling that one, so it's not quite as ideal, but you're able to do it. If you're interested in playing really, really backline, really safe weapon, while doing a lot of damage, being able to carry a team from the backline... I honestly say give this a weapon a go. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. It's a bit of a short one today. Again, I just wanted to show you this weapon. I've been playing around with it. It's really, really fun. Again, hope you've enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and catch you later, guys. Goodbye.